What is up everybody? In today's video, we're gonna be talking about one of my favorite tools in Photoshop. Now, it was one that I used a lot for graphic design and things like that, but it's not something that a lot of photographers are using. This tool that we're gonna be talking about is called the Gradient Tool. Now, the Gradient Tool is how we can seamlessly blend two colors together. A lot of what we're gonna be doing is gonna be involving some layer masking, where we're gonna use the Gradient to kind of make a really subtle, nice transition point. Uh, and that's really what gradients are all about, is transitions. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I go about using this in Photoshop. We'll talk about a regular gradient, a radial gradient, a couple other things that are going to be really helpful for you guys. And I'm going to show you guys how to elevate your photography game by using these gradients. Hopefully this video will be helpful for you guys. Let's jump right in there over into Photoshop. Here we go. All right, we're working with the gradient tool here in Photoshop. First things first, I want to show you guys what the gradient looks like. I'm just going to hide this layer and create a new layer on top. I'll grab the gradient tool, which is right over here. You can do it, uh, grab it by pressing G. You can see here this defines gradient tool as creating a gradual blend between colors. Um, so let me just show you an example with the red and blue option here. I'm going to hit OK. So I'm going to click and drag. Now you'll notice anything on this line is going to be a blend of the two colors. Anything on the opposite sides of the line is going to be a full one color. You can see if I have a much smaller line, the gradient is much smaller. Whereas if I have a much larger line, the gradient spans a lot further. So a lot of cool things you can do with gradients here. Uh, now you guys are probably wondering why does this red and green thing, what does this have anything to do with how I can make my photos better? So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of this layer and I'm gonna show you guys how I would use it on a photo pretty similar to this one. First thing that I wanna do is create a new layer here and I wanna change the blend mode to soft light on this layer. I want to click back on my base layer here and I want to grab the quick selection tool. I'm essentially just going to create a selection of the foreground and you guys are definitely welcome to create your selection a different way if you guys have a better way to do it. Um, but this is the preferred way, especially on this photo for me to create this uh, blend basically. So you just wanna select the foreground so that then we can have a good selection and we can draw the gradient because we're gonna paint some light in on the horizon and we don't want that light on the horizon to bleed over into the foreground here onto the rocks. Now I could definitely spend more time making this mask but that's not what this video is dedicated for so that we're gonna call that good. You can select back on your layer one, click the layer mask button, now you'll see it's applied. If you guys have used layer masks before, you'll know that white reveals and black conceals, so we actually want the opposite because we're gonna paint some light into the sky. I'm gonna hit Command I or Control I on a PC. That inverts the selection. So now we are in business, it is looking really good. So what I wanna do, go back to my gradient tool by pressing G or finding it on the toolbar over here, and I want to create my gradient. So uh, the thing about a photo like this is that we actually don't want a two color gradient because when we do, you're gonna have both colors are gonna be present in the photo. It's not gonna look good. Now what we wanna do is actually click here on the gradient and we want to adjust the color. In this photo, I think I wanna add a little bit of yellow. So I'm just gonna click on the color stop right here, adjust the color. I'm gonna go down to yellow and I'm just going to have it add in a little bit of bright yellow light. I'm gonna hit okay. Oh, and uh, when you're still on color, so when you're on color, you have this color code here. This is essentially the code for the exact color that you're using. You're just gonna hit Command C or Control C to copy, hit okay. Select the other color and click down here where it says color and then do Command V or Control V to paste. So now you have both colors. So you might be wondering, why do we have two of the same color? What, how is it gonna create a gradient between two of the same colors? So we're doing an opacity gradient here. That's what's really gonna be helpful in landscape photography. I can click on the opacity stop and I'm gonna adjust the opacity of the left side to 0% and I'm gonna leave the opacity of the right side over here at 100%. That's gonna make it a 0% to 100% opacity gradient. So you can see it's going to go from nothing to yellow. I can hit OK. Now we're going to just click and drag down near the horizon. If we hold the shift bar, it'll draw straight, which is really important. You can see just like that, it creates all that glow. Obviously that doesn't look good. So I'm going to go Command Z and then we're going to go back and just make some refinements here until we feel like it's looking pretty good. You can also try the overlay blend mode. That's going to add a little bit more contrast, which sometimes can look pretty nice. Um, I go back and forth between which blend mode I like, but you can keep doing this until you get the desired result. Now, one thing I'm thinking on this one is it's too yellow. It's really easy to go back up and adjust this color. I'm just going to make it slightly 
less yellow. I'm going to Command C and copy that code again, and I'm gonna come over here and change this color as well. Now we can go in, add a little bit of glow, and if you feel like the effect is too strong, you can always tone it down with the opacity slider. So this is looking pretty good for me. I would obviously do a little bit more refinement if I was actually editing this photo, but for the sake of this video, you can see what this really does to the photo, and that is it adds a little bit of dimension. So it helps to kind of separate the foreground and the background and add a little bit more dimensionality into your scene. This is how I would use it on like a night photo or a blue hour photo, and I think it looks really, really nice. Like I said, you can adjust this color all you want until you find the perfect effect, but you get the gist. I wanna show you guys also how to use this on a sunset photo like this one, because I know not all you guys are out there shooting night photos all the time, and it can work really good to add a little bit around the sun here. So what we're going to do uh, is create a new layer. We're going to change the blend mode to soft light. And what I'm going to do here is essentially paint a little bit of light in um, with this gradient tool. What I'm going to do is actually use this circular uh, gradient here, or radial gradient is what they call it. And what that does is it creates a gradient that's in a circle. Let me show you guys an example here so that you can get an idea. And you can see when I click and drag, it creates a gradient from the center which is good because that's exactly what we wanna do in this situation where we have sunlight like that. Now the easiest way to do this though, I think, is to actually use it on a layer mask. So what we're gonna do is actually fill this layer with a color and I wanna sample a color from the image. Now hang with me here because this is kind of a multi-step process before you'll see the results. So first thing I wanna do is push I to get the eyedropper tool or you can find it over here you're going to select a color on your image. You can see when I click around here, I wanna click around the sun because that's the color of the light I wanna paint. And I wanna get something that's like a bright yellow right about there. I'm just gonna release. Now that's set as the foreground color. Go up to edit and then you're gonna go down to fill. And then we are going to fill contents with foreground color. Blending is normal, opacity 100%. Press okay. You can see it looks terrible right now, but we're going to add a layer mask and then we're going to grab our gradient tool again. We're gonna change our gradient to black and white. And now essentially we're gonna paint a gradient mask. So uh, when we create this, it will create a layer mask, which is going to be a radial gradient of this color. It's gonna look good, trust me guys. So click and drag from the center of the sun and click and drag out. If you have the issue like I just did where it draws the circle the wrong way because we want this to be inverted or the white is black and the black is white, you can of course invert it, but if you wanna do it the, I guess, more thorough way, click up here and all that you need to do is go grab each color and you're gonna drag the black over and the white over. So you want white on the right, black on the left. So you're just basically making an opposite of the gradient that you just used and hit okay. Now when I draw my circle, you can see it's much better. That is a lot better, exactly what I was going for. And there's a lot of different options that you can do here. So obviously you can see we're trying to add some glow to the sun. When I toggle this, you can see it's looking really good. So it actually kind of helps increase the prominence of the sun, show a little bit more glow in the scene. And there's a lot of different things you can do. You can make it as big or as small as you want. I probably wouldn't make it that big, but somewhere right about in here feels pretty good to me. Now you might run into a situation like I am here on this photo where when you toggle this, you like what it's doing, but maybe you don't like it in certain spots. You can create a folder. We can drop this into that folder. We can put a layer mask on that folder. Now anything inside this folder is affected by this layer mask. Grab our brush tool and we can just go in and paint this out of certain spots if we didn't want it down here so that it's affecting even less. So just another way to do some more refinement. On this photo as well, you could create some glow on the horizon, might look really, really nice. There's unlimited options that you can do with this gradient tool, but I think it is such a great way to help enhance your photos. All right, guys, well, hopefully that is helpful. I really hope that you can add this tool to your tool belt and allow you guys to use that to create better photos in Photoshop. I'm using this tool a lot, actually, a lot more than you would actually expect for a landscape photographer, but it is a really, really nice tool to create some effects, especially as you could see, adding a little bit of like horizon glow or some glow where the sun is, is one of my absolute favorite things to do with this. If you guys have any more questions about this or any comments, anything like that, please make sure to leave them down below. 
always love reading your guys' questions and comments and replying to them, hopefully helping you guys to create better photos. Thank you guys so much for checking out this week's video. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.